Well, hey there. I did a little online shopping this week. Interested to see what all I got? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name's Caleb. On here you're going to find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, luxury travel, unboxings, fun daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style you're going to find right here on this channel. So you probably already know the drill, but hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. And if you haven't already, follow me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. Same name over on TikTok. I'm going to be releasing some fun TikToks this week. As you saw in my intro, I did a lot of online shopping this week. Not as much as most weeks, but a decent amount. I thought it'd be fun to do a reveal on everything I received this week. We have shipments from Amazon, ASOS, The Real Real, the little Balenciaga, and the Piste Resistance, my new Fendi bag from Fashion File. Now, pause this video, comment down below, and let me know what um, Fendi bag you think I got. Now, if you would follow me over on Instagram, then you would know I posted a sneak peek earlier this week, but if you already know, don't spoil it. Now, let's get into it. First up, ASOS. Now, I love ASOS. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you can probably clock some of my ASOS apparel. I'm no stranger to their website. In fact, probably a little too well acquainted at this point. Anyway, so my favorite thing about ASOS, if you sign up for like premier delivery, you get two day shipping for like $19.99 for the entire year. It is fast fashion, shame on me, I know. Um, but I typically wear my clothes for years on end, so I get my money's worth and then I always make sure to donate or whatever. I, I know, shame on me. So I have this trench coat and I never know how to wear it or what to wear it with. So I found this really cute outfit. It was like a white kind of um, sweatsuit and boots and like a really cool bag. Thought, oh my gosh, this is it. I have a, an Adidas sweatshirt that'll be perfect with that. So I tried to buy sweatpants that match. Huge fail. You'll see them here in a minute. And I bought the most amazing pair of boots. So I did source another tracksuit sweatsuit from Nike. So I'm going to try and order that next week and hopefully that works out because this outfit would be phenomenal this fall. Anyway. So the very first item from ASOS, and the only fail in this entire haul, are these sweatpants. Okay, so it said online beige. I was hoping they'd be more grayish. I don't know if the lighting's capturing it, but it's a really gross color in person. These will be going back. So that was a fail. Super comfy though, they're just like a jogger pant, tapered leg, I don't know. Wasn't feeling them, so they're going back. But the boots, the boots are good. So these boots are amazing. They are giving me Balenciaga striker vibes. Prada even has a pair of chunky white boots right now that are pretty reminiscent of this. And you guys, I think these were only like $79 or $93, something obscure. How amazing are these boots? These are killer. I love the style. They're so over the top, outrageous, big, chunky boots. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with this. I'm hoping that the sweatsuit from Nike is the right color to wear with these boots and my trench coat. Hopefully I can complete that look because I really think that'd be a great kind of fall vibe, running through the city, doing some errands kind of look. So wish me luck with this new sweatsuit. And these I know will for sure be staying in my closet for quite some time. Martha Stewart put it best. Style is not about a display of wealth, but of imagination. So I love mixing in these kind of, you know, well-priced items with my you know, designer ready to wear. And it's just, it makes for a more interesting outfit in my mind. These are my new boots from ASOS. All right, so next up, this was kind of a strange purchase on a whim. We were at Home Goods, and they have books once in a while, coffee table books. And I saw this, unfortunately theirs was in horrible condition. It's only 14 bucks, but I was like, oh, I'll try and find a brand new version, and I did. So for those of you who know me, I'm a huge Elton John fan, Taron Edgerton fan. So of course the movie Rocket Man <laughs> was the perfect movie for me. I think I've watched this a thousand times. The last time we went to Europe, I think I watched it on the plane like three times there and back. Anyway, love, love, love this movie. Oh, and Taron Edgerton, I mean, come on. <laughs> anyway, so this movie was full of like fun, Fashion inspo, style inspiration, um, of course, good music, Taryn Edgerton, Taryn Edgerton, Taryn Edgerton. Anyway, I have a bit of a crush. So, <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm, I'm absolutely enamored with this film. So, I bought the coffee table book. I mean, why not? Hello. <laughs> so, that is my Amazon purchase. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Amazon, but once in a while they're okay. So, they came through on this one. Okay, so, on to the good stuff. You all know me. I am a huge, 
huge Balenciaga addict at this point. I mean, there should really be a program for Balenciaga enthusiasts. There's not, thankfully. But I added to my small leather goods collection, and this was my first purchase from the Real Real. So if you watched my shopping in Chicago vlog last week, I went to the Real Real Boutique in Chicago. Phenomenal store. It's very curated, very um, edited. It, it just has a vibe to it, and they, they really nailed the shopping experience. There's even a cafe on the mezzanine level. Just the way they display their items intermixed with like, you know, beautiful curated vases, objects. It's just such a neat store, and the staff's really friendly too. I don't know if I mentioned it in my video. One of the, the staff members there noticed my Balenciaga clutch, and he came over and talked to me about that for a little bit. And we even talked about the Loewe mini puzzle that they had in stock. Too small to fit my phone, so I didn't do it. I do kind of want a Loewe puzzle bag. Are those still in? Not that it matters. First purchase from the real world, and so far I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. Again, they don't have a whole lot of packaging extras like Fashion File does. Great from an environmental standpoint. This is just kind of a card inviting us to visit them in person. We have the Chicago Boutique, amazing. Pretty much all the major fashion cities here in the States. Oh, posted on 100% post-consumer recycled material. Good job, Real Real. The item that I got, this is amazing, you guys. I cannot believe that I found it in this condition. For those of you who know, the, the more pastel or jewel tones from Balenciaga, Moto Styles, they fade so quickly. And typically with like wallets and things that are in your bags, you know, they're brushing it up against foams, pins, loose items in your bags. So they're getting scratched, they're getting stained, they're getting messed up. I think the last person who owned this might have carried for a season because it looks and smells brand new. So I found the Compagnon wallet. As you know, this is my favorite. This color is absolutely outstanding and it's pretty much enhanced with this silver giant hardware. And I mean, does this even look used at all? It is gorgeous. So I was thinking this would look really well with my like rose bonbon or my curry clutches in the spring and in the summer. This would look nice with black too, I think. Just a nice pop of color for inside of your bag. And I mean, come on, how gorgeous is this wallet? That's my third Balenciaga wallet. And since this style is discontinued and just this style in general, where you can just like bifold, open it and see all your cards is so hard to find from the houses these days anyway. I'm just gonna keep find, buying these as I find them. I think this was like 135 and I might've gotten like an extra promo code or something. But anyway, Balenciaga, who knew? Okay, serious chat. I am new to the world of Fendi and I wasn't really expecting much. Like I, I've loved this bag for the last, I think it was released in 2008 is when it first hit the runway. Maybe it was spring, summer, or autumn, winter. I know it was 2008. I've always wanted a piece from Fendi, but it's just never happened. I think if you're not familiar with the brand, you're gonna just continue buying things that you're familiar with, i.e. Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. I don't know, is anyone else like that? If, if you have like a bag from a house that you're interested in, but you've never purchased from before, do you just end up purchasing from what you know and what you're comfortable with? Let me know down in the comments. Hey. Have you guessed what it is yet? Big box. It's gonna be a big bag. Also, mark my words, big bags are gonna be coming back in a huge way, probably this fall, early spring. So while they're still very affordable on the pre-owned market, maybe start snatching them up if you want. I mean, don't, I mean, that leaves better options for me. But, um... okay, guys, I can't believe I finally owned this bag. So this has been on my wish list, like I said, probably for 12 years. As you all know, I think Fashion File was having a sale, was it the week, a week or two ago? Well, I think I've had this bag since Monday or Tuesday. So probably I think last week, over the weekend, on last weekend they had an extra 10% off with some code or whatever. Me being me, couldn't say no. Like I said, it's not a, a word I, I use a whole lot in my vocabulary, so. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Are you ready? Now, this was a really good deal. So that means it's not in perfect condition. This isn't looking brand new by any means. Anyway, let's get into it. So the bag I got was the 2010 calfskin large peekaboo and saddle with the denim interior. Look at this bag, you guys, this is insane. So this has gorgeous gold hardware. And then when it opens up, you have the beautiful peekaboo opening. And then mine's done in like kind of a denim print with like lame stitching woven through it, a gold lame, and just this gorgeous like saddle tone leather to those feet. 
<laughs> I love this bag. Knowing me, this is obviously not gonna be my last peekaboo. I'm gonna have to buy like 10 different ones in all the colors. Like I said, I wanted to dip my toes into the world of Fendi. If this was a bag I wasn't gonna be head over heels in love with, I didn't wanna spend the price point that these get even on the resale market. New, no, these are out of the question for me. Personally, I think for a little bit more, I'd rather just jump up to Hermes and buy a Birkin or a Kelly, or even for the same price in some instances. On the pre-owned market, these are in such a great price point. So for a really rare one or a good condition one, you can expect them to fetch anywhere from maybe two to $4,000. For like a plain black calfskin, I'd expect maybe a thousand to 1200, just depending on condition, time of year, things like that. This one's a little bit of an oddball. So it's A, in fair condition. I mean, it still looks nice, don't get me wrong. We'll get to that here in a second. Fair condition, it's in kind of an obscure colorway and then has that, I think it's fun this pop of like denim interior. I'll give you guys a close up. All things considered, I think this was like 395 before the sale. It had been in my watch list for a while. So I was watching it go 10, 20, and then they gave the 10% off. So I was like, I mean, a four or $5,000 Fendi bag for $340, I mean, come on, no brainer. So I picked it up. Now this one, also came with a strap. Sadly, it is missing its paperwork, its raincoat, and its dust bag. No worries though. I still have the tag on it, which I will be cutting off because I'm already dreaming of outfits to wear with this bag. So gorgeous gold hardware. I love that the feet even have the Fendi double Fs and here in the side straps. Now the back side is kind of where you see the majority of the wear. There are some spots throughout. I mean, they're very faint. And overall, I think just kind of given like the bag's look, I mean, it would be great with this, this kind of a look, just something kind of rustic, Western country, you know, let's go hiking. Why would you take a Fendi Peekaboo hiking though? You know what I mean. Like outdoorsy kind of looks. And I just kind of envision this with like denim, slim boot cut jeans, rolled up at the bottom cuff, a denim shirt in the same color, and then maybe one of those like big Western chunky belts and a hat. With this bag, I think would be a phenomenal look. This bag, like I said, so it's a little bit of a rough shape. There are some stains and dirt marks. I did a lot of cleaning on the interior. This is by far kind of one of the roughest bags I've purchased. So it, need, it needs a little love. So I looked at loving, loving, loving my bags. It's so hard to say for me, I don't know why. I noticed that they had a kit called like the, the clean moisturizer whatever kit. It's like $70. Um, I, I got a 10% off promo though with the code love. Have you guys used their products before? Like I, I've never really done anything. None of my bags have ever needed anything other than a light cleaning. So to actually use like creams and moisturizers and things like that, I'm a little bit hesitant because I haven't done it in so long. This one also needs a little bit, a little bit of edge coat, but I've done that before. So that I know how to do. So that'll help it look a lot better. So do I order this stuff from Love in My Bags or do you guys know of another, you know, company that, that sells a pretty good cleaning, moisturizing, you know, finishing kit. Let me know in the comments because I need some help. I'm in uncharted waters here and I would hate to mess up my first Fendi bag, especially in this gorgeous saddle color. Oh my God, I'm in love with this bag. I can't get over it. <sighs> So I'm thinking I need a black one. And then there's a snakeskin one out there that I like, ostrich. I mean, just give me all the colors. I want a closet full of peekaboos. That brings me to another point. So I really like kind of structured looking formal bags. I mean, I know, go buy a Birkin. I'm working on it. So another bag that I really like is the Prada Safiano Tote. That was really big, probably 2011, 2012. Are those a good investment or a good bag to buy? Like how well do those hold up? I've had, I mean, I've had several Prada pieces in the past, so I, I know how their products are, are made and how they how they wear, but is that another bag I should be buying? Kind of has the same broken s look or structured look. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Do people still like the Prada Safiano toe? All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for listening to me ramble. I'm sure this has gotten on Zane's nerves immensely while he's editing this, so I can't wait to hear about that. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about my purchases this week. I think I got some fun items, and I have a few more fun items coming later this month to share with you guys, especially my birthday reveal. Let's all start getting excited about that. I have a huge item coming from Fashion File, kind of a big deal. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, let me know what bag care kit I should be buying for this bad boy. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, chatting with me down in the comments. I, I really enjoy being here on YouTube, so thank you all for making this a fun place to be. Follow me over on Instagram if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.